a video came out recently, like a day ago, with Jaguar and her jailhouse bay in a big argument. I'm talking about the Kansas. And I don't know if they doctor up the voice because it sounds like a man to me. I said, wait a minute, did the Kansas get a sex change? She sounds so much like a man. I'm telling you guys, some of these females who want to be men really go all the way. Because I could have swore that was a dude. I said, whoa, I guess Jaguar was the female in this relationship because I don't, I really don't uh, see the Kansas being no female in this relationship. But the way Jaguar was talking to her out of pocket, I said, hmm, the Kansas probably had her like the female in the jail. And now that she's out, Jaguar feels empowered that she can talk slick to the Kansas because the Kansas is not close to her to jack her up. That's what I'm thinking. Because Jaguar was, oh, she was just letting her have it, honey. So do not put out the video. But unfortunately, most of it can't be played because his music is playing in the background. You know that music with Dookie Way. I call the song Dookie Way because that's what it says throughout the whole song. Duke, Dookie Way. Duke, Duke, Dookie Way. I said, what the hell? I can't put this out. I can't even play a little snippet of the video, but I'm going to try, folks. I'm going to try. I'm going to really try. But let me examine the video and decipher the video and break it down so some of you who wants my opinion you know i'm very opinionated on everything so i'm opinionated on this video also when i saw jailhouse bay and jaguar almost coming to blows honey if that's possible over the airway but that's how contentious it was so if you guys are just coming on to the video Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so as yet. Thank you. So Jaguar is talking to the Kansas and she says the reason why she couldn't call her was because she didn't have her phone. And the Kansas sounded so pissed off that she laid into Jaguar right away because apparently Jaguar haven't been calling her. Jaguar haven't been putting money on her books. All Jaguar have been doing is talking to this woman's mama, talking to the Kansas mama. And Jaguar even told the Kansas, me and your mama are friends. I love her. I consider her my friend. And I said, girl, go somewhere and make friends with somebody else. The Kansas don't want you and her mama being friends. She thinks you're plotting and scheming against her with her own mama. That's what she thinks. So Jaguar told the Kansas, I'm always going to be a friend to your mama. I'm always going to be talking to your mama because we good like that. Me and you ain't good, but I'm good with your mama. And I'm thinking to myself, is that because this little old lady gives you money? This is alleged. So I'm speaking allegedly. I don't know if the Kansas mama give Jaguar money, but I do know Jaguar mama is not in the picture anymore. Mama Frances is not in the picture anymore for Jaguar to get money every month out of her. So I'm thinking to myself that she has substituted the Kansas mama for all her own mama. And with Jaguar, anytime she befriends anybody, you got to be very careful. Money is always the bottom line with Jaguar. So I hope she is not fleecing this little old lady out of any money. But I'm sure that Kansas is kind of worried that her mama is talking on the regular to Jaguar. Because she don't know what is being said. And Jaguar already told her her mama got her in confidence. And she's not going to disclose anything that they talk about. So Jaguar then told the Kansas the reason why she couldn't call her or get into her account is because she didn't have her phone. Well, the Kansas don't know that. She's locked up. She don't know what's going on on the outside. So, guys, drop it in the comments section. Y'all think Jaguar is getting money out of the Kansas mama? That's why she says they're friends now. And she'll always be her mama's friend and always talk to the Kansas mama. Jaguar said the Kansas and her ain't cool, but the mama and her is cool. And I'm saying, well... 
is she getting money from the mom? Because we know Mama Francis is gone. And Jaguar got to substitute somebody to get money out of them. So I don't know, folks. Drop it in the comment section. What do you all think? But I hope that's not what you're doing, Jaguar. Because you're going to bring a new definition to the word low. Because I can't imagine you taking money from the Kansas mom and you just met the woman. I'm not saying she's taking money from her or even asking her for money. All I'm saying is it's a possibility because we know Jaguar have been taking her mother's paycheck for years without any remorse, without any guilt. As a matter of fact, she said her mom's money was her money. But now her mother is gone with that $6,000. Did she substitute another little old lady? That's all I'm saying. Inquiring minds want to know. I was really trying to wrap my head around why she is so friendly with the Kansas mama. She just met the woman. She just met the Kansas in jail. It's not like if they had a real relationship. They were peekaboo boyfriend, girlfriend. They only saw each other through bars. Never touched or nothing. So what kind of relationship they really have? They just talked and slipped notes and peekaboo relationship. That's what I call that. So how are you going to befriend the mama and say you love the mama, but you in the Kansas ain't got that type of relationship no more? Are you running game on the Kansas mama? Now that your mama is no longer around for you to run game on her, you found somebody else's mama to do so? Look, I don't know if this is true. It is just speculation. So it's alleged. But I can't help but wonder if you're going to steal from your mother because that's what it was. It was stealing when you were taking her checks every month. You found a new victim. That's what I'm thinking. You found a new victim and it's the Kansas mama. So then Jaguar told the Kansas, I just got my phone back. I cannot ask DJ to get an account on her phone. So I can talk to you. She can't do that. I said, girl, you've done a lot of things. Worse than that. So why not? The only reason why she probably didn't ask TJ to do so is because TJ is not done with the foolishness. TJ is kind of salty that she's still talking to the Kansas in the first place. And the same way that Jaguar cusses Naisha out and TJ don't like it, it the shoes on the other foot because Jaguar is continuing to talk to the Kansas, although TJ don't like it. So it's tit for tat. That's what I'm seeing here. Jaguar is going to continue because she knows TJ don't like it. And TJ is going to continue to talk to Naisha because she knows Jaguar don't like it. But in all fairness, TJ have a right to talk to Naisha because they've got underage children involved. Jaguar, on the other hand, she chooses to talk to the Kansas, although they don't have a relationship and they have no kids, nothing involved. They never even had the S word, no intimacy whatsoever, according to Jaguar. So why continue to hold on to the relationship? Because you want to hold on to the mama. That's how I'm looking at this. You want that relationship with this girl's mama for whatever reason and i suspect it's on a monetary value that's what i'm thinking why why else would she want to hold on to this girl's mama the way she's and uh, she's fighting for the relationship me and your mama are good but me and you ain't good i love your mama i said girl you're doing the most you just met this girl in prison how are you going to lay claim to the mama like that? It's tit for tat. That's what I see here. They don't respect boundaries. They don't respect each other. TJ figure, okay, you're going to be talking to the Kansas. I'm going to be talking to Naisha. That's what I see. But like I said before, TJ have a good reason because there are underage children involved. Both of them have it in their minds. If you're going to hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. And I'm going to make it count. So they're both trying to hurt each other with the exes. So the Kansas now trying to break it down to Jaguar that Danny Robertson has been putting money in her books. She's been making it possible for her to eat and she's got money in her books because of Danny Robinson and she's been making sure she all right. What have you been doing Jaguar? What have you done for me lately? That's what I want to know. That's what Jailhouse Bay said, honey.
I'm paraphrasing. She said, you haven't been calling me. You haven't been putting money in my books. And she was highly irate. And I'm telling y'all, Jaguar was lucky. It was just a phone call and she wasn't in her presence because I think she would have laid hands on her and not in the praying manner. She wasn't going to be baptizing her, honey. She was going to be laying hands on her to put her six feet down. So Jailhouse Bay said, what have you done for me lately? And I said, ooh, yeah. Honey, that is a song right there. So Jaguar started to jag. She, she started to do what jag is known to do. She started to pull that wool over her eye. She started to just do the gas lighting. And I said, okay, let me see how she's going to pull this one. So she started to tell Jailhouse Bay, listen, I ain't got to put, oh, she started in her tone. You know that deep tone, that sinister tone. I ain't got to put money on your books. Guess what? If you get money from any one of these bloggers, it's coming from me because they need to use my name to make money. And the same old money they're using my name to make money off of, they're sending part of it to you. So guess what? I'm really sending you the money. It's not them who's sending you the money because they need my name to make that money. So I'm the one who's sending you the money. So that's it. It's a wash. You got payment from me many times through these bloggers. I said, girl, you are good. You almost had me convinced. No, honey, the Kansas was not buying it. The Kansas said, you don't give me a dime. You don't put money in my books. You don't call me. And I said, go ahead, the Kansas. Let her know what time of day it is. But Jaguar was not having it. Jaguar said, if you let these bloggers call you, then they should be giving you a percentage. Are you getting at least 500 stacks? I said, oh, oh. Jaguar trying to find out how much the Kansas is making. Maybe she wants some residual since her name is the name that's being called to make this coin. I said, Jaguar, the way you asking this woman how much Danny Robertson sent her and put on her books, you sound desperate. Like if you want to ask the Kansas for a loan, that's what it was sounding like to me, like she was desperate for money. So Jaguar now is going to pull out the Trump card. She says, I've done everything your mother asked me to do. And I'm going to continue to do so. Call your mother. And I'm saying, girl, you involved in another family. You trying to put a rift between this man and his mama. I said, Jaguar, you got to leave this thing alone. You try to do it with Goomba and his family. Now you're trying to do the same thing with the Kansas and her mama. You better be careful. The Kansas is going to find you when he gets out and beat your ass. You better stop that. So Jaguar now thinks she got a little edge over the Kansas because the Kansas said, what you and my mama talk about? She said, I'm not going to discuss it. I'm not going to tell you what me and, and your mama talked about. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. That's between me and your mama. I said, girl, you're going too far. You're going to try to put a wedge between this woman and her mama. The mama may beat your ass. Forget about this, the Kansas. You keep messing with these people's mama. Goomba didn't do it for his mama, but the Kansas might do it, okay? You be careful how you rolling with these people's family. So Jaguar now is acting like if she got secrets with Jailhouse Bay Mama. But she told her, she said, your mama asked me to keep her confidentiality. And that's what I've been doing, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. You ain't got nothing to do with it. This is with you, me and your mama, and I'm going to keep your mama's secret. And she made it seem as though the mama is talking about the Kansas personal business to Jaguar. That's what it seems like to me. That's how I read this. Because she said, me and your mama is good. You need to call your mama. I said, girl, you're doing too much. So Jaguar trying to assert herself now. She said, I told you. I told you. You, me, and your mama was on the phone when I was in a sober living house. And I told you. And I said, girl, you're raising your voice too loud because you know the Kansas don't like that. You can only do that because you're on the phone with the Kansas, but you couldn't do that when you were in her presence. I said, girl, 
you opening up a whole new can of whip ass cream. You better be careful when the Kansas come out. She gonna find you. You better watch your words. So it was like two broken records. Jaguar is saying, I've done everything your mama asked me to do. You go talk to your mama. And the Kansas, she's another broken record. You ain't put no money in my books. You ain't call me. You ain't talk to me lately. You ain't did nothing for me. I said, girl, both of you sound like two broken records. You need to go get jobs, both of you. Work in the jail. The jail got jobs in there, you know, making license plates. And you, Jaguar, you need to go to McDonald's or Burger King or one of them fast food places and get some extra money instead of fleecing down these little old ladies. So Jaguar said, like I said, on your birthday, I was trying to send money, but I couldn't send it. But I tried to send it through your mama. Well, I'm, well, nothing wrong with her mama's phone. Nothing wrong with her mama's cash app, if that's how she's sending it. So how come she didn't send it? She said, I was trying to send you money on your birthday. Hey, trying and doing is completely two different things. Here's a little clip. I can only do a little clip because the Dookie song is throughout the whole doggone video. Thanks a lot, then not. I tried to send you money on your birthday. I was sending it to your mother. Like I said, you need to talk to your mama. So that tone of voice that you guys heard, that was the tone of voice throughout the whole video. Jaguar was acting big, bad, and bold like if she was a big, bad wolf, she was going to blow Kansas house down. Getting money from bloggers, Dee Dee. I've been putting plenty of money in your pocket because the only reason they put money on your books is because of me. That so the only thing I was hearing from the Kansas is, well, you know, like a whiny house cat, how they just whine and whine and meow, meow, meow. That's all I was hearing. You didn't send money on my books. You didn't take care of me. You didn't take care of me. I'm wondering, did they have some type of blood oath that Jaguar was going to take care of the Kansas once she get out? But I have a feeling Jaguar promised her a whole lot of stuff and did not deliver on that one thing. Because remember, guys, they were really in a good place they were lovey-dovey they were oh jaguar said that was the love of her life honey she is not leaving the kansas when she gets out she got her so yeah i can imagine her making her a whole lot of promises a whole lot like i'm gonna make sure money goes on your books because remember the Kansas was holding her down with commissary when she was in there, when nobody was putting money on Jaguar's books. The Kansas was the one taking her commissary and sharing it with Jaguar. So I'm sure Jaguar said, yeah, I got you. When I get out, I'm going to make sure you get all the money on your books so you can, you know, buy your commissary. I got you. I'm going to hold you down. Don't you worry. And she'd never sent money for that woman. At least that's what the Kansas said. You never put money on my books. You didn't call me. You didn't come see me. What's up? So the Kansas is highly upset. Never mind my mama. Stay away from my mama. I don't need my mama to get all your bad juju. Stay away from my mama. But Jaguar said, me and your mama is cool. Me and, me and you ain't cool, but me and your mommy is cool. I'm saying to myself, are you getting some residuals from the mama girl? Is that why you're so cool with this girl's mama? Didi, you talking to bloggers? You getting money from bloggers? That is me putting money on your books. Because the only reason they doing it is for you to give them information about me. Hey, don't we talk about how you been talking about my titties and my vagina? Are you kidding me? You telling niggas about my titties and my vagina? For what? Are you kidding me? So needless to say, that's, this just went on and on with the same old narrative. You didn't put money in my books. You didn't come see me. You did not take care of me. You didn't, you know, it, it was just on and on. The whining that Jaguar did not put money on her books. And how dare her talk about bloggers sending this woman money. Because if you're not putting money on my books, you don't have no room to talk that other people are sending me money. So apparently, Jaguar got wind that Danny Robertson is sending jailhouse bay money to talk about jaguar she's doing these uh jailhouse interviews 
and the Kansas is spilling tea because she married the Jaguar that Jaguar haven't taken care of her as promised when she got out. But how is Jaguar going to take care of her when she can't even take care of herself? Jaguar said she just got her pocketbook back and she got her phone and the phone is broken. I guess the, the, um, the, the screen is probably cracked. And if she got her phone back, that means all her little passwords is in the phone and maybe she can break into or get into the Daladalfia network site and get into her cash app and all these other money accounts that she has. So now there's no excuse for her to be broke because Daladalfia people have been subscribing. That $9.95, I think it is. So they've been subscribing, so there should be some money built up in that account. And her cash app, I guess she didn't know the, the password or whatever. I guess she can access that also. So all these accounts should have money. So I don't want to hear Jaguar complaining about not having money. But right now I'm more concerned about the Kansas mother. Is that her new victim? That's what I want to know. So Jaguar is trying to convince Jailhouse Bay that she cares about her. That's why she is still in her life through her mama. I said, girl, your relationship is not with the mama. Your primary relationship is with Jailhouse Bay. You cultivated that relationship in jail. And now you got out, you befriended this girl's mama, and now you want to be in the mama's life. And I'm just wondering why. Because we know there's dollar signs behind all that conversation with the mama. Somewhere, somehow, Jaguar is getting money, I believe, from Bay House Bay's mama. It's all alleged, but that's what I'm thinking. So Jaguar then said to Didi, your mama got reasons for doing the things that she do. And the way that she doing it, I'm paraphrasing. And I'm not going to discuss it with you. Once again, trying to put a wedge between this woman and her mama. And Jaguar is known for that. Putting a wedge. I don't know what it is with her and family. She don't like to see families happy together. Instead of her trying to get Didi and her mother to jail and to bond, she's putting a wedge in between them. She's telling Didi, the jailhouse bay, like I like to call her, that whatever is between me and your mama is between me and your mama. And I swore to secrecy. Whatever your mama tells me, I swore that I wouldn't tell it. I'm not even going to tell you. Because we're not that close anymore. I moved on and you moved on. So whatever is between me and your mama is between me and your mama. So Jaguar said to the Kansas, your mama put money on your books. She's the one who make it possible for you to make phone calls. And I'm saying to myself, are you fighting this woman's battle with her own child? So Jaguar has chosen a side. The Kansas mother against the Kansas. I don't know what the mom is telling Jaguar, but Jaguar has chosen a side. So she kept repeating, call your mother, call your mother. And I said, maybe that's part of the conversation that Jaguar and the Kansas mother have, that the Kansas don't call her mother regularly, although her mother puts money on her books. Her mother would like to hear from her more regularly. But this is not how you do it, Jaguar. You do not throw that wrench in the myth, you leave mother and child alone. So the question is, what do Jaguar and Didi's mama got in common? They got Didi in common. So if there's any conversation, the conversation is about Didi. And Didi knows this. So she's highly pissed off at Jaguar for talking about her with her mama. Because Jaguar and that little old lady don't have nothing else to talk about but Didi, jailhouse bay. And I think it's highly inappropriate for Jaguar to have a relationship with Didi in jail, came out of jail, made friends with her mama, and don't want nothing to do with Didi. Because despite of everything she says, oh, I'm going to be her friend for the rest of her life, I promise her that, actions speak louder than words. If you can't call this woman on her birthday, it says a lot. That speaks volumes. She held you down when you were in jail, when you didn't have no type of money on your books. She gave you part of her commissary. And when you got out of jail, you promised that you would hold her down. You haven't put any money on her books. You haven't visited. You haven't called. 
that speaks volumes. It doesn't matter what you say, Miss Jaguar, right? It's what you're doing. So then Jaguar said to Kansas, like I told your mama, whatever she needs, all she got to do is let me know. And I'm saying, girl, stop the lying. You can't even take care of yourself. How are you going to take care of this woman's mama? So Jaguar said, I consider your mama a friend. I love her. And I said, yeah, we, we know how your love ends up and how you love people to death. Like your mama taking all your mama's checks every month for how many years and having that woman look like if she was homeless. And we saw how much you loved Goomba, that you was trying to get him on alive by the cop. And pretty much everybody in your life you were trying to hurt after the relationship. You don't know how to walk away and be friends. Now look at what you're doing to the Kansas. You are no longer uh, having an intimate relationship with her. But now you, def you befriended the mama only to hurt the Kansas. Because whatever you're discussing with the mama, you're telling the, the Kansas, I can't discuss it with you because I swore your mama that I was going to hold it. And you're holding it and you have the Kansas believing you're talking about her to her mama. What do you think is going to happen when the Kansas talks to her mama? She's going to get to arguing with her mama for talking about her to you. And it's going to cause a rift in that relationship. That's what Jaguar does. She breaks relationships apart. So then Jaguar started to ask the Kansas, are you calm now? I'm telling you, these bloggers that you've been talking to, all they want to do is destroy me. By the way, that Danny Robertson, how much money has she been putting on your books? Because I'm telling you, she owes you a stack because she's making money from interviewing you. And if she haven't put a stack on your books, then she's robbing you. And I'm thinking to myself, she is so curious to know how much Jailhouse Day is getting from Danny Robertson. I wonder if she wants to borrow some money. That's what it appears to me. That she probably any day is going to say, the Kansas, you got 5000 in your books, can I borrow 1000 That's what I'm, you know, I can't put nothing past Jaguar. But the Kansas says, what is it to you? You haven't been putting any money in my books. You never even called me for my birthday. You never even called me for my birthday. You didn't come visit me. You didn't put no money on my books. So what is it to you? That's my own business. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what she really said in her own words. What you ain't doing? Nigga, how much? I'm trying to figure out whether or not you're getting lowballed. The Kansas wasn't having it. The Kansas held her mouth shut. She said, I'm not going to tell you squat. What you want to know for? You haven't been putting any money on my books. You haven't even visited me, called me on my birthday. So how dare you ask me how much Danny Robertson is giving me? I'm not telling you nothing. So Jaguar kept pressing and pressing and pressing. But mom's the word. The Kansas didn't tell her squat. Because Jaguar is dead broke. And she's probably looking at Dee Dee. A.K.A. the Kansas, A.K.A. Jailhouse Bay, as a source of getting some money. She probably called her to conspire to get some more money out of Danny Robertson. She probably figured, okay, if she's if she's giving her at least five hundred dollars, I'm gonna tell her to up the stakes to seven hundred and give me the two hundred as a kickback. I can see that in her mind. I really can, cause. If she can conspire to drum up this false accusation against, against King Payne and put out a narrative that he, doc, you know, this doctored receipts that she was going to put out, that he stole money from the GoFundMe, I can see her now coming up in her head. I'm going to call this Kansas, and we're going to fleece Danny Robertson. I can see it, and I think that's why she called, but... Jailhouse Bay wasn't entertaining her. She wasn't having any part of it. She didn't want to hear from her. She didn't want, really want to talk to her. She was so in her feelings that Jaguar did not call her on her birthday. She didn't get not even a visit, not even a cash app, not one cash app since she's been out. So she was in her feelings. So Jaguar didn't even put that scenario towards her, okay? She didn't even entertain it. Because, you know, you got to feel people out. If you're going to come up with a scheme and you said, okay, this is the plan, and I want us to fleece Danny Robertson, 
but you got to feel that person out first to see if they might even be receptive to the plan. And I think after speaking to Jailhouse Bay, Jaguar figured out, you know what, I can't spring it on her right now, but maybe at a later time, I'm going to spring it on her that we need to come up with a plan against Danny Robertson because that is Jaguar's biggest enemy right now. So I can see her plotting against this woman, trying to get more money out of her. Whatever she's putting on the books in the prison there for Jailhouse Bay, I can see Jaguar telling Jailhouse Bay, ask for more and give me a kickback. Because if she can plot and scheme against somebody she called a good friend to make that person look like if they stole from her by doctoring up receipts, then she can... Then I think she can set up Danny Robert's son. It's one thing thinking that someone stole from you. It's another thing setting them up to make it look like if they stole from you by doctoring receipts. I've even said in my videos, I think he took some money, but there's there was no proof. That was all speculation, but I didn't go out there and doctor receipts and say this man stole money. I said, I think he took some money because... He went on vacation right after, and I don't see him handing over a big piece of money to Jaguar when she came out. And that was what the GoFundMe was for. But to deliberately go there and doctor receipts and accuse this man, that's a whole new different ball game. But Jaguar was so pressed to get the answer. How much money is on the books in Jailhouse Bay account? That just left me wondering. If she was going to ask for a loan. I'm trying to figure out whether she's playing it cheap. Has she put more than $500 on your books? So Jaguar kept pressing and pressing. Has she put at least $500 on the books? I am trying to figure out if she's playing you for cheap. Has she put $500 um, on the books? And I'm saying to myself, what business is it of yours, Jaguar? You walked out that jail. You didn't look back. You did not even say, hi, stranger to Jailhouse Bay. Now you want to know how much money Jailhouse Bay is getting from Danny Robertson. All Jailhouse Bay said is that she been texting me. She put money on my books. She made sure I was straight. And I'm saying to myself, she sound like if she, you know, the wheels on the bus is going around and around. Jaguar was not feeling it. She was not having it. But what was funny to me when Jaguar said, she owes you a stack. I checked the analytics. I said, girl, you're always counting people's money. You need to stop that. Start counting your own money. Maybe that's the problem. You're not counting right. You're counting other people's money instead of counting your own. And that's why your money seems to be leaving you all the time because you're not doing the addition on that side, your side. Stop putting your attentions on other people's money and concentrate on your own. Maybe you're going to keep a dollar or two. That bitch owe you a stack. So the Kansas says, what do you owe me? And she says, my eternal friendship. I said, girl, the Kansas is thinking eternal friendship can't put food in my mouth. I need to go over there to Danny Robertson where I can get some food in my mouth. Let her continue to put money on my books and you can just go to hell. So the takeaway for this video is two things. I think one, Jaguar befriended Jailhouse Bay's mother for a reason. And I hope she's not shaking her down for money. Number two, she wasn't calling the Kansas and all of a sudden she called the Kansas. I was pressing her to know how much money she had on the books. In my opinion, she wants a loan from her. I'm over and out. Drop your comments. Tell me know what you think, how you feel about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have not subscribed as yet, now is the time to do so. Support the page. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.